What's going on, everybody? Um, I wanted to talk a little shot with y'all, mainly about the Sixers um, and my thoughts. Um, I don't know where this series is headed. I don't know where this season is headed. But, you know, I want to go over the things that I have expounded on leading up to this point about how the 76ers organization is so low class that they do little things to suck the fans in, right, purely to make a buck. Buy the apparel, you know, the jerseys, and whatever whatever other um, Sixers uh, apparel that, you know what I mean, a, a person can buy. Um, ticket sales, um, but never really being concerned about the fans and the fans' desire to be a championship um, city as far as the NBA. Um, when I saw Joel and B um, talking to Maxi, and Maxi was like, you know, like, like, come on, man, you know. And but Joel and B was was elated. He was happy. He was happy. And I thought to myself, he's happy because yeah, it was a play in, but it was like a playoff series win. And you know, Joel has been, you know, the big ones have escaped him. You know, the last time that they you know, they reached the uh uh the um Eastern Conference Finals with Jimmy Butler, they had savvy, <coughs> they had um, smart and savvy players. Um, Jimmy Butler, um, um, I forgot the guy, uh, the, the white boy who used to shoot the threes. Um, uh, he's a commentator now um, um, from Duke. Um, but they had a lot of smart players. Um, and so he was, he was excited. And I, I was kind of saying to myself when he was getting like that with Max, he like, don't be like that with him. See, because I don't believe Joel is a good example, right? For, for a younger guy who's either starting off in the NBA or just coming in the NBA for the standard of play. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like Kobe Bryant was the standard. And 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 a lot of people say, oh LeBron, listen. Go study Kobe Bryant. Go study him. He said that when he went up against Allen Iverson, and they he didn't even play Allen Iverson. These games, he would watch and see that Allen Iverson scored 40 and 50. He would throw the he would be in the hotel room throwing the TV around, watching shark movies to counter and 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 and, and, and uh, 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 balance his game to 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 offset Allen Iverson's game, and he did that with every single player that he went against. Right, so LeBron is raw, physical, talented, gifted. He came in the league like that from high school, right? I'll take nothing away from LeBron. LeBron has a high basketball IQ. I take nothing away from him there. But when you talk about great players, Jordan basketball IQ was here. Kobe basketball IQ was here. LeBron's basketball IQ, as you know, as it as it as it pertains to the standard of people's basketball IQ today. And their will, their term, determination, and other factors that come, you know, you know, uh, that you uh, uh, factor in, is here. So the standard to be a really, really great Kobe's got to be the greatest top and the greatest top five players of all time. Easy, easy. I don't even see how LeBron comes close to being discussed as the heir to Jordan. Or who's better at all? 
And I say that because Maxi has to see Allen Iverson was he, and he admitted to you. He he will admit it. Kobe is the mom. Kobe went. He was special. He studied. He said when they was in the clubs, Kobe was studying the game. And see, that's what these players need. That's what the Sixers need to, to encourage their young players to get that kind of um, output, right? In return, yeah, I mean, for what the, for what the Sixers, um, you know, one hand washed the other. They, they should be encouraged to go, um, and B should be encouraged to go hang out with uh, the Joker on the off season. Look at the Joker. Look at, go study his physical um, as well as his, he has a high basketball IQ, but go study his physical workout off season and his and his diet and and B does none of these things. Now the Joker is in the playoffs, right? He constantly takes Denver Nuggets to the playoffs, and he's playing against the Lakers, and everybody's saying the Lakers, did, and he's playing against one of the best, uh, 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 um, 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 uh, uh, Anthony Davis. And the Joker is shitting on him. Shitting on him. And all the, all the players around him, Murray, and because they've been there before. You got to get there to know what it's like. And then you know how to maintain it once you've been there before. And this is where the Sixers lack. This is where they fall short. Um... And B is going to always have an injury problem. And I've said it in my previous videos. It's time to move on from Embiid. It's time to move on. Embiid. See, what Embiid won't say to us publicly, which he has probably admitted to somebody in private, is that he can't win a championship in, in Philadelphia. He definitely can't do it by himself. Maxie can't help him do it. Maxie can't help him do it. Maxi doesn't have the discipline to take him up here. Because in the offseason, don't just practice on your shot. Study everything. Did you hear what I just said about what Kobe? He studies sharks. To prepare himself to play Allen Iverson because how fast and how agile and how Allen Iverson moved. This is a calculative, uh, 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 methodical person, Kobe Bryant. He's the standard. Jason Tatum goes down there and he practices with him and he and he comes back and Jason Tatum is a superstar. You know, you, you know, the mamba is, is missed, man. Kobe Bryant is his 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 thinking is so deep. But he loved that sport. He dedicated his life. He wanted to be the best. And you don't have that in players today. They don't want to be the best. And, I, you know, they want to get the money. They want to drop the car, the blank, and the rap. And the, they don't want to be great. They don't want to separate themselves from those who are playing today and those in the past. And the Sixers, even, even with the Sixers coaching, the Sixers have a coach who... Sixers always get a coach who gets out coached by somebody else. Right? Where was where was Nick Nurse don't putting in council to four? Council four. Where, where was he? Where was he in trying to throw in a monkey wrench? When it wasn't fucking working for him, where was his mentality, his mindset to throw in a monkey wrench? Right? Throw in a, throw in somebody that you, you, you know what I mean that will offset the game. Listen. When you're in these situations, you throw everything in, including the kitchen sink. 
Nick Nurse has, listen, I don't like when people make it out, make him out to be the whiz kid. I don't it, because, listen, I, I see, I see the, the, the shortcomings in this dude's coaching. He said in the middle of the season, I'm, we're trying to figure it out. It seems to me that you're still trying to figure it out. And if you ain't figured it out all fucking ready, then wh when? And I'm tired of Sixers bringing in coaches that you don't see Miami getting rid of Eric Spo They, You know why they never get rid of him? Because he's a great coach. You know why San Antonio never get rid of uh, uh, Popovich? Because Popovich is a great coach. You say, yeah, San Antonio got a losing season. Popovich going to turn that shit around. Sixers don't bring in coaches like this. They bring in coaches where somebody said, um, um, somebody said, I think it was on Fox Sports 1 with uh, uh, the three commentators. And, and one of the commentators said, Nick Nurse is a great coach. And somebody said, he, he good. He good. I don't know if you can say great. And see, once you get a championship, yeah, he won a championship. And look, 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 look how he won the championship. Played the Sixers in the Eastern Conference Final, right? The shot that made Joel Embiid cry after the game that Kawhi Leonard made, go on to play a wounded Golden State Warriors, and you won a championship. Now, I'm not saying that, that that championship isn't legit, but this is how you win the championship, right? When, if you go watch the championship tape, you're gonna, you you can't say, oh, man, they battled through that shit. Like Jordan and them were back to Jordan and them to get to their first championship, man. They had to battle through Detroit. Detroit knocked them down, knocked them down, knocked them down, right? And then they finally over these are these are battles that you that you, you say to yourself okay Jordan overcame Jordan and company overcame this barrier in their way you won't watch Toronto's championship uh 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 um game and shit like that and say oh they uh overcame some barriers or some hurdles and shit to win the championship that they won that shit was hand that shit was that that shit you know what I mean a, a, a little league motherfucking basketball team could have beat the Gold State Warriors at that fucking time. They was wounded. Um, so Nick Nurse, sort of like a Doc Rivers get credit and shit for a fucking championship. You know, Doc Rivers get, Doc Rivers get credit for winning the NBA championship in Boston when he had Hall of Famers and great basketball minds who were players at that time. Are you kidding me? And now it shows in the way he coached today. He ain't, he hasn't done a goddamn thing since. Um, and like I said in my 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 earlier video, Kelly Oubre. I don't I don't know. I don't know what's Kelly Oubre um, um, position, but I know he plays better than that. And, and if in fact it is because Nick Nurse is putting him to guard Jalen Bronson and is taken away from his offense, then motherfucker, you better, you, you, you better get somebody else to stick Bronson then. Let Ma if Maxie is the fucking great player that he is, take up the motherfucking slack. Take the responsibility of go to your fucking coach and say, you know what? I got him. Like Kobe Bryant always did. 